Mary reflected on the testimonies of Joseph. She reflected on the testimony of Elizabeth. She reflected on the testimony of the shepherd. And I declare that you will also have a testimony. Yeah. In the first Christmas, Mary had a testimony. You will also have a testimony. Yeah. I say you will also have a testimony. Yeah. There is no time for me to begin to look at the testimony aspect of Christmas. Because there were many testimonies during the first Christmas. I declare by the reason of the anointing that this season you will have a testimony. Amen. Over your life you will have a testimony. Amen. Over your marriage you will have a testimony. Amen. Over your family members you will have a testimony. Amen. Over your future you will have a testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The last but not the least because we have other things to do today. Mary reflected on the fulfillment of God's promises. Mary reflected on the fulfillment of God's promises. Brethren, you would imagine it happened to Mary as the angel declared it. Just as the angel of the Lord declared, everything that the angel said would happen to Mary and how it would happen, it eventually happened that way. Mary began to reflect. You mean this God is a covenant keeping God? You mean this God is a faithful promiser? Nine months ago, when the angel of the Lord appeared to me, what he said would happen has happened. How he has described it in the same manner, it has happened to me. And I want to declare as you reflect on this Christmas, every promise that God has made concerning you shall be fulfilled this season and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What did God promise you at the beginning of this year? Expect the fulfillment this season. Because the first Christmas was loaded with the fulfillment of God's promises. And those promises that God has made through his word. Those promises that God has declared through his servant on the pulpit. Those promises that God has made even to you through your dreams. Those ones that he has made through the visions. Those ones that he had confirmed through other brethren around you. I pray that those promises shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the first Christmas was loaded with fulfillment of promises. As we celebrate this Christmas this year. Let it be a time of reflection. I challenge you. Let it also be your time of refre re reflection. The first Christmas was a time of reflection for, for Mary. And it should also be your own time of reflection. This is the time for you to think about the sacrificial love of God. This is the time for you to think about the promises of God. This is the time for you to think about the favor of God. This is the time for you to think about the faithfulness of God. This is the time for you to reflect on the, on the uniqueness of God. This is the time for you to think very carefully about the salvation plan of God. How God the Father planned the work of salvation. How God the Son came and executed the work of salvation and how the God, how God the Holy Spirit has continued to sustain the work of salvation in you. This is the time to think about the kingdom of God. This is the time to think about the preciousness of humans before God. And above all, this is the time for you to think about where you will spend your eternity. Father, we bless your name for today. Thank you because the first Christmas was a time of reflection for Mary. 
We ask that, oh God, this season will be a time of reflection for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. we pray that it will be a time of reflection for us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen.